And this is what I do. I take the battery cable off. And I know that's a pain, relearns and so forth, but here's the reason why. Some manufacturers are experiencing vapor lock. Now, vapor lock, I thought, was an age-old problem that went away ages ago. Apparently not. I had a 2010 model GDI vehicle. It had every symptom after a hot soak of vapor lock. If you're young tech, to remind you what vapor lock is, it is where fuel boils in either a fuel line or a fuel rail, and now when you go to restart the engine, usually after a hot soak, this happens, you go to restart that engine, that gas now can't get past, the liquid can't get past the air bubble, and you have a lean or a stalling or no start condition. So high pressure systems came on board, not really that high, TBI, 9 to 12, PFI, 35 to 45 PSI, and we never heard of vapor lock again, really, for the most part, until GDI. Some GDI vehicles, the fuel will boil in the rail. It's been confirmed by some of the OEs, and one of the solutions, by one OE at least, was to do a reprogramming of the computer. And what the computer did, the ECM, it would wait for a while, seen a hot engine, and it would, with the key off, just like it does EVAP with key off, it would turn the electric pump on in the tank. And that would just run for a couple of seconds. And you would also hear when you heard, you're sitting in the car and you're hearing this about 10 minutes or so after you turn the key off. You also hear, beside the pump and the tank running, you hear some clicking under the hood. That's the solenoid here. What we're doing is we're allowing the low pressure fuel side to go right past the solenoid in the, the high pressure pump, right into the rail, and we're pressurizing that rail during a hot soak to get those bubbles of air out so we don't have the hot restart, uh, hot soak restart, stall, hesitation, and rough engine associated with vapor lock.